Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learners Planet. Uh, friends, in the previous session we have dis discussed the graphs of uh, straight line, uh, we discussed the graph of circle, parabola, uh, even we discussed the graph of logarithm and exponential function. Uh, in this session we are going to discuss the transformations of the graph, right? What is shifting of origin, right? So let's begin this session and it's necessary to attend the previous uh, sessions before you come for the next, uh, this session, okay? So let's begin. Now friends, here we will be discussing graphical transformation that is shifting of origin. Now, what happens, uh, there, is, uh, there are various types of transformations when fx is converted to f of x plus minus a, right, where a is greater than 0 or f of, uh, f of x transformed to f of x plus, fx, f of x plus a uh, plus minus a. Here it is f of x plus minus a and here f of x plus minus a. You can uh, see the difference. In this case, a is greater than 0, f of x transforms to a of fx and f of x transforms to f of ax. Now, what we have to uh, do over here, see while we sketch these graphs, structure of the graphs remains same, uh, that is quite similar to the basic graph, but what happens, the graph either shifts uh, upwards, downwards, maybe left side or right side, okay, of the coordinate axis, right. Now, we have to see um, how this graph, uh, these graphs shift left, right, upward or downward. So, let's take some examples for that. Now, let's see what happens when fx transforms to f of x plus minus a where a is greater than 0. Now, in this case, the value of fx shifts to a units for all x. Now, friends, um, when, f of, uh, when a is added to f of x, that means when a is positive and if it is added to f of x, then graph shifts upwards that you can see over here. This gap is what? a units, right? And if a is deducted from f of x when a is positive, then the graph shift downwards that you can see over here, this. So, this gap is a over here, this gap is also a. Or we can say in this case, this is case of f of x. In this case, f of x uh, decreases, uh, increases by a units. In this case, f of x decreases by a units. Okay. I take one example. Now, suppose we have the graph of y is equal to e raised to x. So, that's this that we have already discussed in the previous session. Now, we have to draw the graph of e raised, uh, e raised to x plus 2. That means, 2 units are added to y. Right. That means, the graph will shift to a uh, unit upside right or upward right now what is happening over here x is 0 when x is 0 y will be e raised to 0 is 1 so 1 plus 2 3 in that case y will be 3 so the graph will pass from 0 3 when x is 0 y is 3 similarly when a is minus 2 right in that case what would happen if x is 0 y will be minus 2 so it will uh, like it's 1 minus 2 that's minus 1 right? So, the graph will pass from 0 and minus 1, right? So, this is the original graph of y, raised, y is equal to e raised to x. If 2 is added, the graph shift uh, 2 units upward and if 2 is deducted, the graph shifts 2 unit downward, right? Now, suppose we have the graph of modulus of x, right? Here we can see this is the graph of modulus of x that is passing through origin because when x is 0, y is 0, right? So, this is the graph of y is equal to modulus of x. Now, if you add 2 to modulus of x, what happens? The graph shifts 2 unit upwards, right? Because 2 is added to modulus of x. So, the graph shifts 2 unit upwards and when we deduct 2, the graph shifts 2 unit downwards, right? So, uh, it can be very well verified if x is 0, y is 2, that's 0, 2 is the point from where this graph is passing and here in this case when x is 0, y is minus 2. That is 0 minus 2 is the point, right? So, when uh, 2 yeah, two is added, the graph shifts upwards. When 2 is deducted, the graph shifts downwards. Now, friends, uh, we will see the graph of fx when uh, f of x plus uh, minus a. fx transforms to f of x plus minus a. What is the difference between these two? It is f of x plus minus a here a is added to x right 
so in the previous case the graph was moving uh, upward and downward in this case the graph will uh, move left and right right so this is the original graph of f of x suppose it is passing through origin now if you add x the graph will shift left side if you deduct a the graph will shift right hand side right i take some example now we have discussed the graph of y is equal to e raised to x earlier we have discussed the graph of e raised to x plus 2 and e raised to x minus 2 in this case we are discussing e raised to x plus 2 when 2 is added to this x not the whole quantity but to this x only now this is the graph of y is equal to e raised to x if 2 is added the graph will shift uh, left uh, on the left hand side and if 2 is deducted the graph is shifted to right hand side right that can be very well verified if x is 0 then y will be what e raised to minus 2 right if x is 0 y is equal to 1 upon e square so 1 upon e square because e is uh, between 2 and 3 that means y will be uh, a fraction that is less than 1 that we can see very well from here that's when x is 0 y is 1 upon e square right and uh, in case when uh, this graph y is equal to e raised to x plus 6 uh, x plus 2 when x is 0 y will be e square right so this graph will it uh, like it, this line will intersect y axis at e square right the coordinate of that point will be 0 and e square right so you can make a clear comparison it is e raised to x it is e raised to x minus 2 the graph will shift right hand side if uh, 2 is deducted and uh, the graph will shift left hand side if 2 is added by 2 units this gap is of 2 units right now first uh, here we have the graph of uh, y is equal to mod x and uh, this is the graph of y is equal to mod x that we have just uh, seen now what happens when 2 is added to x it will shift left side that we can clearly see over here when x is 0 y is 2 right and uh, when y is 0 x is equal to minus so that is this point that is minus 2 and 0 and this point is uh, when x is 0 y is 2 right so two step to the left side when 2 is added and two step right hand side when 2 is subtracted right or deducted so you got the graph of uh, you can make the comparison between this in this case the graph is shifted left side in this case the graph is shifted uh, upward in this case the graph is shifted right hand side and in this case the graph is shifted downward right so you should be clear about all the four types of graph graph you must be knowing the graph of modulus x from modulus of x you should be able to draw the graph of all these four right this is left uh, left hand side this is upward this is right hand side and this is downward right so if you draw two three graphs uh, you'll be able to uh, get the concept okay now similarly we can see the graph of log x now this is the basic graph of log x right when uh, in the case of log x x cannot be zero so when x is 1 log 1 is 0 so in that case y will be 0 so that the graph passes through 1 0 right now if we deduct 3 the graph will shift right hand side for the three units and if we add 3 the graph will shift it to uh, left hand side with three units so this gap is three unit from minus uh, 2 to 1 you can say and this gap is three units from 1 to 4 that you can say see right so here what would happen if x is 4 that means log uh 1 that will be 0 right in this case when x is minus 2 then log will be 3 minus 1 or uh, 3 minus 2 that is 1 so y is equal to log 1 that is 0 right so when x is minus 2 y is 0 when x is 4 y is 0 right so this gap is 3 unit this gap is 3 units i hope you are getting me now friends uh, let us uh, see when fx is transforming to a f x and where a is greater than one. Now, if uh, f x is uh, transforming to a of f x, then we stretch or expand the graph along y axis, right? And when f of x is uh, 
transform to 1 upon a f x then we shrink the graph along y axis right. So, in this case what happens the value of f x will be decreased obviously because it is divided by a and in this case the value of f x will be increased because it is multiplied by a and a is a quantity that is greater than 1 right. Let us see some examples. Now, here we see a graph of straight line suppose y is equal to x right. Now, this is the line this pink line is representing a straight line with y is equal to x as an equation right. Now, uh, if we multiply x by 2 that is y is equal to 2x that means what, what is happening over here the graph is uh, the line is getting closer to y axis right and, and we if we divide this x by 2 then what is happening the graph or the line is getting closer to x axis right. Uh, friends in both the cases the uh, in uh, all the three cases in fact already in the, uh, this case when the line when x is 0 y is always 0 that means all the three are the equations of line and all of them are passing through origin right. But we can see the change in slope here in this case the slope is 45 degree right here in this case and in this case there is a difference in slope ok. Similarly, we can see the graph of modulus of x where y is mod x this is the graph of y is equal to mod x. Now, if we multiply mod x to 4 what is happening the graph is getting closer to y axis because the value of y increases right value of y increases right. So, the graph is getting closer to y axis. Now, if we divide the graph by 4 if we divide the expression by 4 the graph is getting uh, like uh, moving far from y axis right that we can see over here that means value of y is decreasing ok. So, you can very well compare this is modulus of x this is 4 times modulus of x and this is 1 fourth time modulus of x in all the three cases the graphs are passing through origin because if x is 0 y will be 0 right. But the slope in the three cases is different ok. Now, friends, uh, we see when f x transforms to f of a x right in the previous case we discussed a times f x and in this case f of a x right. So, what happens over here in the both the cases we are considering is uh, as a is greater than 1. Now, in that case was what happens then graph shrinks uh, the graph along x axis right it shrinks along the x axis that we can see very well from here that is the graph of f y is equal to f x that is f of a x and that is x by a in all the in both the cases a is greater than 1 right. So, uh, I just take a, a few examples for that. Now, here I am having the parabolas y is equal to x square that we can see this purple line that is the graph of y is equal to x square that represents a parabola. Now, instead of x suppose I put 2 x right. So, what will happen y is equal to 4 x square. So, what is happening over here that red line we can uh, see that the graph is shrinking can you see that the graph is shrinking is not it and if we take uh, instead of x x by 2 the graph is expanding right. So, you can make out the difference this is y is equal to this purple line y is equal to x square this red line y is equal to 2 x uh, square and this uh, blue line is y is x by 2 square right. So, if it is to uh, any number is multiplied then the graph shrinks and if any number is divided the graph expands right. So, you must be clear with all the aspects of a graph y is f of a x or a times f x f of like x by a or f of x by a right you should be clear with all of them right. So, in this session we will be discussing this much only in the next session we will be discussing uh, more pattern of graphs more transformation we will be discussing ok bye bye.